Hi there, my name's Andy Horn. I'm from EDF Energy. I head up um, a supply chain within EDF Energy, looking after all categories of spend uh, across indirect. Uh, I have a team of 17 specialists. I actually got into procurement, um, kind of fell into it really, is probably the best way to describe it. Um, I was at RSA at the time and I was part of the subsidence engineering unit. Um, in essence, the business had made a decision to outsource that unit and I wanted to stay at the organisation and so had a look around at opportunities and the opportunity that I was able to successfully apply for was to manage those contracts and that's when I first moved into procurement or supplier management. So I've been a procurement professional for 13 years now. Um, the management entry route really appealed to me because it was building on the experience that I'd garnered throughout that kind of course of time and was enabling me to show the technical competency that I had gathered over that period and it was able for me then to be able to demonstrate my capability and my technical competency that I had gathered over that course of time. I also probably um, committed uh, to the team um, up front to say that I was kind of going through it, which, which actually put more pressure on me um, uh, with the benefit of hindsight. Um, I'd actually told them that I was going to, to be applying for MSIPs and I was going down the management entry route. Um, it was important that I did it because many of them were going through their own kind of professional studies and I wanted to show them that I was with them uh, in that kind of regard. What I didn't realise at the time was how much additional pressure that was adding to me in case I didn't pass. From a rigor point of view, I actually found the management entry route um, harder than I initially kind of anticipated. Um, I don't mind admitting that when I first kind of started out, I thought that um, it was going to be relatively kind of straightforward. But um, as soon as I started to complete the application um, and, and map out my experience and, and why I felt I should be applying for it um, through that route, um, I realised that it was far more than that. Um, from the uh, from the online assessment that I actually kind of undertook to then the, the interview that I had from a, from a SIPS fellow, um, which uh, I definitely prepared for um, and prepared for and prepared for. Having, having MSIPS um, is something to be kind of proud of and I have actually already seen a change in attitude and, and approach, um, not necessarily so much from my kind of stakeholders who I already had good relationships, but certainly with um, my suppliers um, and my interactions with suppliers. Um, I think they recognise what it is and they understand what it is um, immediately. Um, you don't have to explain it to them. Uh, in terms of top tips, certainly what I would recommend is you prepare. Um, do not think this is an easy process, but, but don't be put off by that. If you work hard, if you prepare, you'll find the process is straightforward. The support from SIPS, the SIPS team throughout the kind of process as well was excellent. Um, all the way through, uh, if I had any kind of questions, I was able to kind of ask them and they responded really expediently. So how I prepared for the actual interview was mapping out the competencies um, and against that my experience or what I felt was my experience against each one of those kind of competencies. And that really helped me because it put me at ease. Um, it gave me kind of confidence in kind of my capability and, uh, and actually enabled me to give a clear answer uh, when actually assessed. One element I found really useful um, once I'd actually learned that I had been successful um, in my application was um, the feedback report. Uh, it covered against each competency, against each area that I was um, in essence assessed on and it gave recommendations about how I could improve and where I could improve um, and, and how I'd actually performed on the day so it was wonderful to see. So I'm really proud to have achieved MSIPS, it means a lot to me personally. Um, I've now got the certificate um, ha hanging up on my wall at home in my office, um, so really kind of proud of that.